explain to our to our viewers and our readers what's going on inside here. <laughs> so what we've got is we have in this particular bulb ten warm white LEDs, mm -hmm. and the LEDs. Let me grab this other bulb so I can just show it. Mm -hmm. The LEDs are mounted inside the lamp, and they are powered by the driver, which mm -hmm. is mounted in the screw base. Mm -hmm. The LEDs are then driven to the full brightness that you can get out of them because of the cooling solution we've got within the light bulb. This light bulb creates its own self-cooling environment, and that self-cooling environment that's passive, there's no pumps or anything else in there, actually allows the LEDs to provide the maximum amount of brightness that you can get out of them and still maintain their long life. So you can put more power into the LEDs, crank them up, because you can actually cool with the glass. Exactly. And most people just cool, you know, most bulbs will just cool through the aluminum heat sink. Correct. Right. So now That's it's cooling on the glass, you can crank up the power, and the drivers in the base largely get cooled through the sink. Right. So our proprietary driver in the base, it's fully mm -hmm. dimmable. That takes the heat. The LEDs being cooled by the passive cooling within the, within the dome and within the aluminum allows full incandescent quality warm white light and allows the full beautiful incandescent quality radial flux so the light is coming out all the way around the light bulb just like an incandescent so you can sit under it and read from it just like you can with a regular incandescent yeah because a lot bulb. of bulbs let's take a look at the bulb again sure. a lot of them actually don't come down the, no. the full curve i mean it actually might stop no. there or if there if you look at most led bulbs the leds are mounted flat on the aluminum base and LEDs act like little flashlights, which means that the light goes in one direction, up, mm -hmm. which means that very little light comes down, most of the light goes up. The specifications on most light bulbs show about 85% of the light going up and about 15% of the light going down. That's oh, so not, you're losing, yeah, that's not good. That's not usable. You're lighting up the inside or, of a bulb. Right, okay. that's right. But right here, actually, because they're, they're, they're mounted vertically. Right. They're actually streaming light out, and there's optics within that to actually smooth that out so you don't see correct. separate LEDs. What That's you see correct. Is, okay. Now, here's the kicker. Yes. It's not, well, the glass is special, but it's not the glass that's cooling those LEDs. Yeah, so what's happening inside, we've got this beautiful environmental cooling solution that happens to be a liquid. It's a benign liquid that's inside the, the lamp. Um, somebody actually said it looks like a lava lamp, um, but obviously you can't see the liquid. Right. And the liquid actually circulates within the light bulb automatically as it heats up and takes heat away from the LEDs, brings it to the surface of the glass, releases its heat to the surface of glass, and cools the LEDs. So it's not going up and down. It's, it's going from the LED out toward the surface of the glass and circulating back in. Yeah, like so a passive cooling, anytime there's a heating element in there causing the density of the liquid to decrease, the, the actual fluid rotates. It actually moves in a circular dimension throughout the light bulb. Now, is there any worry that consumers will go, oh my God, there's, there's fluid in my light bulb. I'm gonna get, it's gonna electrocute me. Well, the, the fluid we're using is, a, is an off-the-shelf fluid that's very inexpensive. It is fully electrically insulative, so it does not conduct electricity at all. Um, there are many computers nowadays, the high-speed computers that are used by NSA and CIA and that. IBM, yeah. IBM, a few. where the microprocessor has to be cooled. And those are actually bathed. The entire circuit board is bathed in a fluid to keep it as cool as possible to allow it to operate at its maximum efficiency. That's exactly the same thing as we are doing here. We are bathing the LEDs in fluid to allow them to operate at their maximum efficiency. Do you think others will try to do that? or um, They may. Um, we have some intellectual property, of course, that protects what we're doing. And I think we're pretty rock solid in that. So I don't see that as a big issue. Uh, the other thing I should mention about the fluid is um, if the light bulb should break and it will actually drop from a, a three foot You can drop it three feet and it'll with, without okay. breaking. Um, but if it should break, it just cleans up with soap and water. Okay, great. Now, one thing though is because 